intro. This project. Wonderful. Okay. So what we need. Three of these. Two of these. Okay. We need a jar. Dollar Tree jar. And this. This is a pipe holder. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Need that. And some florals. Okay. Any kind you want. And you're going to need some uh -oh, gold paint. Hold on, gold. Turquoise. Okay. And then this is your hanger. <laughs> okay. On this one, you're gonna do all of it, okay? So, after we have done our base coating, then we start the sanding. And I always start on the edges so that you can get that grab, you know. And once you've done the edges, then your next step is going to be to kind of go right in to the middle. Get rid of a lot of that paint so that you can... Edges go in the middle, get rid of some of that paint. There we go. Okay, now once we get all of them done, then we're going to go over. Let me do one of these on camera. One of these, I call this lattice because that's pretty much what it is the thinner pieces that are basically a quarter of an inch thick really really thin and, uh, 
in this case and in a lot of cases they're you know kind of a bracket and sometimes they're at the forefront and sometimes they're in the background and on this project they're going to be at the forefront um, so far the projects we've done they've been kind of they've been in the back on the back and not necessarily a part of the appeal appearance appeal of the project okay but in this case we're going to have a visual of them of it as part of the project and so I'm going to make sure it's looking good here that image. Mm -hmm. okay finish the other ones off camera and come right on back We've got it all finished as far as the sanding. And so our next step is we're going to put a top coat of just the opposite of the other projects. We're going to put a top coat of varnish on top of the sanded project. And, you know, um, it's going to not only change the appearance, it's going to completely change the color. Look at that. Just rustic lovely I got my cloth pretty saturated with the uh, with the varnish and I don't know if I mentioned it so far in this video or not but I mean I basically use the same color varnish for all of my projects and that's the dark walnut because uh, it's just so much more effective and even though, you know, you're not going to be looking at the back of this or it's not going to be pertinent to the project, I just like the consistency. I go up, going ahead and uh, varnishing it on the back. Um, I chose these projects and, and challenged myself to do them. And I said if I got them done, then I was going to open this start this YouTube channel so that's how it was birthed anyway guys okay so uh, I don't know what this noise is anyway so okay we got the varnish on everything so let's go ahead and wipe it off Now, if you notice, I did not, uh, I didn't sand the back. I just chose not to. If you want to sand it, you certainly can. It's up to you. It's one of those personal things. It doesn't necessarily uh, interact with the overall appearance of the project, or the end result. So, a lot of times I'll just skip that. Okay, guys. Here we go. I like the way that look turned out. That just is awesome. Okay. So, that's that step. Let's do, go on to the next step, which is. The next step is going to be our wood glue and getting, uh, pulling our piece, kind of pulling it together. Okay. So, right side. Yeah. Okay. And uh, on this one, you know, it probably wouldn't hurt to go. I like to eyeball a lot. I really, really do. But it probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and set this up in a way that uh, it's kind of even on both ends as far as the distance. And I think having it closer to the bottom edge 
it's going to be more appealing. So I'm going to say an inch, about an inch, okay, from the bottom. And uh, here. Know if that's gonna be enough with glue. I don't think that's gonna be enough. No. I want some more. Okay. Okay, I should have marked that. There's more than one way to skin a cat, so it's an inch. Just stick it on there. Now, right there. And over here. Inch. Okay. So now we're gonna do our little nail thing. Go ahead and nail about the middle. You know what? I want a smaller head on the nail. So here we go. Okay, good deal. <laughs> okay, measure, 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 measure. Okay, and then, of course, when we glue in, always kind of pull that up together. Hold that. And when I do these, Oh gosh, I'm not going off camera because it happens. Okay, and I'm taking this off. I'm not gonna try to straighten it out. I am staying on camera. Okay, let's try it again, guys. <laughs> Back it up. Make sure you're on point. sure you guys are seeing this and you are okay here we go I just want a smaller head nail I prefer a smaller head because these stick out like a sore thumb in the design I suppose you could maybe darker nails that might there we go yeah see it doesn't stick out so much and let me find another little teeny one like that got every nail under the sun here's one okay I'm gonna go ahead and put one in the middle here carpentry part is not my strong suit but it's a part of it when you want to make it totally cute you got to figure it out okay all right turn it around here and one inch it again about right there this one's kind of over, but that's okay. I oh, like the rustic. Come down a little bit. Okay. Okay. 
me and my okays, right? <laughs> careful on this one because uh, you know it's not on the back it's on the front and so uh, you don't want it to interfere with your, your final look and that's another nice thing about the little popsicle sticks you just kind of pull that excess off and get rid of it okay Tiniest ones I can find because uh, okay, got it in there, but we got some glue coming out, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that off of there. dries as a matter of fact. Expensive lumber, this particular type. They call it firewood. I like it because it's already got that rustic look, but let me tell you, the price of this six foot long piece of this one by three is a dollar and 48 cents. And Home Depot will cut them into 12 inch pieces for you. They won't go less than 12 inches. Um, if you're doing multiple pieces, but they'll cut as many 12 inch pieces as you want. 12 inches and up, of course. So that's what I do basically. I go in and get the long ones and then I just have them cut them all into 12 inch pieces. And then when I want it shorter, I've got a jigsaw and uh, I call myself cutting it myself here at home. And I'm learning. I am learning. Okay, now I'm not gonna hold, put anything heavy on here and let it sit because I think we're, we're good on that, okay? So we can move right along to the next step. Next step is figuring out how to get the glass on here. And I'm telling you guys, these projects, they're not anything that have patterns or anything. They're projects that I saw somewhere online or in a magazine or, or somewhere and decided I was going to try to make it. And so I just figured it out. So we're kind of learning together. Of course, I made it to see if I could make it, but uh, that's it. Okay, so anyway... This little jar here, I found this at the Dollar Tree, okay? And then this ended up being, it's like a, a, a pipe holder. And I found it in the plumbing section at, uh, <laughs> at Home Depot, okay? And what I did with this was I sprayed it, okay? With some Krylon Gold spray, all right? So, and see, you can open it up pretty easily, pretty readily. 
And so how I figured out where it went was I used the jar, the vase, you know, where I wanted it to end up. And I wanted, wanted to end up in between the two um, lattice pieces. And so as a result, put the vase in inside the pipe holder. And then uh, for the most part, that's kind of where you want it to end up, about right there. So you're going to have to hold it and then take your marker <laughs> and uh, mark right in the middle there. You know, this is not going to show up anyway, you know, it's going to be up under the vase. So I'm going to fill in that whole hole. All right. now. The next step in this is uh, another thing on this. They don't come with the screws, so you got to figure it out as far as the screws. So I, what I did was I found some screws and just my screws where my nails and stuff are, and I found this little washer. And because that hole is so big, you need the washer for real, for real. And so, and then a little. I don't know that's what is it about mm. right at a half inch okay so what I'm gonna do is move this out of the way and right there in the middle of that give us a little drill I tell you this wood is um, and it's some hard wood Dollar, dollar and 48 cents wood, it is hard. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to take that, put that there, put a little washer right there. I think I need to turn that over, yeah. A little washer. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Let me get it over here closer. There we go. And then I got my little, the little screw I found. If I can get it in there, there it is. Come on. Here we go. And screwdriver. Over right on there. See, it's just not as difficult as one might think double check double check yeah because i don't want it to hang below that because i want to get that centered look okay and look at that guys wow <laughs> i can't believe it okay now on this here now this did come with with the pipe holder piece that I found in the plumbing section at Home Depot. Cause you just put that, and that's mostly for looks, you know? I mean, I think it gives it such a cool look, but that's gonna go across it, you know, once we get, uh, get the vase in there. Let's go ahead and put the vase in. You know what? Let's do this. I'm going to move this down here where you can see this because I want to do something different. Can you see that? Yeah. So what I'm going to do here, actually, before I do the vase, is <clears throat> take one of these sawtooths. Okay. One of these. Because that's what I ended up using for my hanger versus anything else. So you can measure it, put it right there in the middle, the middle of the middle one. That's why I like these sawtooths. They're so easy. I'll make a little scripture plaques and these come in handy. Okay, now, see I got it on the edge here. I'm gonna just go ahead and Tap, tap, and we're through. Now I feel better about doing the base. <laughs> okay. 
So, as far as steps go, put the vase in and then kind of squeeze that together. Are we on camera good? Yeah. Squeeze it together. Squeeze this piece. And then, go ahead and put your little boat and screw in there. Kind of learning this together. So, 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 so much fun. So much fun. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's tight enough. Okay. Now, the only thing left to do, guys, is to do your little bundle. And so, what I have, let me move this over so I can show you what I have real quick. It's just a bunch of Dollar Tree and leftover flowers that I found here and there. This little inexpensive flowers, but just a color combination. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a floral person per se. So I'll go ahead and stay on camera and show you my process. Because, you know, you might not be a floral person either. So let's just, just get the flowers ready get rid of all the excess and we're probably not going to use all of that but and what I did here was I uh, get rid of that I brought a pipe cleaner along because uh, I'm going to use that to bundle it let's see let's just go down I found these years and years ago. They're still sharp. I've never sharpened them. And I mean years ago. But between this and a, um, they call them chucks, wire cutters. That's what I use when I cut floral stems. This or the, these are really sharper than the, than the wire cutters. They really are. And these you can cut with it. They don't even have wire in them. You can cut it with scissors, but. I got these at Dollar Tree. Mm. I'm going to leave that like that because it's got the green in there. And I'm not necessarily going to use all of these guys, but let's go ahead and prep them all. Okay. Now, then, you know, bundle them any way you want to. You know, it's your project. <laughs> mm. I just thought these colors look good together. Kind of springy or fresh looking. And just all I do when I do these little bundles is I just separate the colors. White on this side, white on this side, yellow on this side, and then yellow on the opposite side. Okay. Not necessarily any fantastic floral skills, but need them. Uh, get a little bit more purple. You know, just have some high areas and some low areas, you know? And that's going to be good enough. Let me cut this off. I don't know, that might be too much yellow, but, you know, this is, this is something you can change. Okay, so, see, I just bundled them up together. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Mm, another white. Oh, this might be too many flowers. Mm. There's quite a few. Let me get rid of that last one. Okay, so, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the pipe cleaner and just wrap it around here. them all together. I kind of want a uh, kind of like that peach color in there, apricot color in there for this combination. And then we some yellow ones. Let's see. Let me see. Let's bring this over. Mmm. 
yeah, we can afford to, we can afford to add some. Here. I'm gonna stick these in with, yeah. This color, I just think that, that'll help it out a little bit. But, uh, get it down in there. Probably wouldn't hurt to put a little bit more green in there, but, okay. And the little pink ones are gonna kinda be an afterthought. <laughs> like I say, this is kinda personal, so you do what you wanna do at this point. And probably a green pipe cleaner would be better than anything, but it's what I had. And see, it kinda covers that up. Okay, now, as far as this goes, to add the pop of color for me, I'm just gonna stick that down in there. Oops. It went bye bye. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. See, I think that makes a big difference. I like that. Mm. And what I would do as a finished product with this, probably maybe try to find another stem, a longer stem, and maybe even hot glue that on there. But this is it. This is this is the finished product. I think it's super duper cute. Let me move this over so you guys can see. Excess out of the way. What do you think, guys? I'm gonna hang it up. The finished product, guys. What do you think? You did a good job. That's it. Right there. So until the next time, happy crafting, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.